Leos, welcome to your love reading for June 2021. Keep in mind, this is a general reading. If it resonates, consider a personal reading. Just send me an email or a DM and we can certainly set that up. Let's get to your reading. Holy Spirit, angels, divine guides, universe, can you please provide your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, and your insight for Leos for the period of June 2021 as it pertains to love? What do you see? What do they need to know about love to reach your higher crown, become closer to universe and closer to divine through your messages? Any messages you have would be greatly appreciated and we thank you. What do you see? What do they need to know? Oh my God, are all my readings going to be like this? <laughs> all right. I'm going to do... Okay, I need to read this one separately. Okay, let me say all my junk that I have to say ahead of time because I have a crap load of cards I'm going to be reading on. Okay, so the first thing is <laughs> to let you know is click on the link below for your weekly extra. Not not your weekly extra. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Delete, delete, delete. Um, for what your love interest is thinking or feeling and in that spread, I will have um, something you do not know about them in addition if they're seeing somebody else. In my playlist, 2021 Sun and Moon predictions. What is your ideal career based on your midheaven? What is your compatibility partner sun sign? Ask me a question on Instinct. Go check me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Like, share, subscribe, or donate. Now we'll get to your reading. I always feel like the guy with the disclaimer, like at the end of commercials is like, blah, 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 blah. okay, so this came out. I'm going to read on this separately because I feel like this is sort of serving as a crowning card. So the hanged man um, is here and it's kind of saying you're stuck. You're just kind of hanging out. Nothing's really kind of going on. Um, it's almost like the universe came down and just pushed, pushed, pushed the big pause button. And so that you, you don't go anywhere. I, I really kind of feel that like they did it. So you don't go anywhere. They're kind of holding things um, back for you because I feel like they they think that you need the time to kind of think about what your love goals are, what you're willing to sacrifice when it comes to love, um, that you need to wait. They don't want you rushing into something else. And I'm gonna tell you right now, you guys are in love with being in love. Come on, don't lie. Um, and you know, you just, you want to be in love all the time. So the reason why you're stuck is because they're saying you're not ready to kind of move on, um, to something in regards to that. They don't want you rushing in, you know, foolishly, you know, where fools rush in like that. Um, so they're, they're kind of putting you in a holding pattern for right now. And the hangman, when the universe does that, um, you're supposed to use the time to kind of enlighten yourself, um, use the time wisely. So I suggest that you kind of do that. So I'm just going to let that guy hang out here. I haven't mean, seen what these cards are yet. So let's see what's going on here. Oh, Lord. Okay. I'm not going to pull clarifiers on these unless I feel like I need to, because this is a lot of information going on. All right. So if we're starting off with the page of wands in the upright, and I feel like this is what I was just talking about where you are really anxious to kind of like have something happen. Um, you, you, you want to meet the one, you want something to go on. You want to fall into something passionate. You're very urgent about it. You, you want that new romance. You want that spark. You want that energy. And I, I feel like you're, you're, you're trying to make that happen or you're looking for it. Okay. Um, now we have the nine of wands here in reversed and I feel as though you're opening up to allow this. I mean, I almost feel like you're over, like you're overly being like, Hey, come at me, you know, whatever you have, I'm open. Come on in, <laughs> come on to my house. What's this? What's that song? Come on, come on in to my house. Wait, Carmen Miranda, like, didn't somebody sing a song like that? I forget who it was. Post it up in the comments. But I feel like you're swinging the door open and you're like, hey, whatever you have, uh, come in and tell me what you what you have to offer me and we can definitely talk and almost like you're, you know, wearing like a silky robe or something. I know, that sounds crazy. Yes, I have been drinking green tea in case anyone's been wondering. Um, so we have this three of wands here in reverse. Wow, there's a lot going on with you guys. Um, so despite you, you kind of wanting this stuff to happen, it's not happening for some reason. I'm telling you, go back to this hangman. It's it's almost like you being put, you know, in, in a timeout chair for you to kind of figure out, you know, kind of sort things out because they're, they're saying you're being a little too... Um, you know, it's great to be all about romance and love and all of that stuff, but there has to be some grounding that kind of um, happens there. So despite your best efforts, there's delays to finding love. Um, there's, 
you know, um, you're kind of struggling to kind of make things happen. Um, you're putting efforts into things and nothing is coming out of it. Um, and this is because you are not kind of seeing things down the road that you should be seeing. You're just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just want to fall in love. That's what I want to do. Um, so <laughs> I, I mean, that's what I'm kind of getting here for June. Um, so the tower card is here in reverse and I almost feel like the reflection before they're going to let you get to get to this magician card. Um, I feel like they want you to reflect on things that have gone wrong in your life, in relationships, in, um, and, and kind of face that. Don't kind of pretty it up or anything like that. Don't be like, oh, well, we fell out of love. I wasn't in love anymore or anything like that. So, you know, and, and just kind of dismiss it. Don't be dismissive about it. The tower card is here to say, okay, look at the disasters in your life. Why did they happen? What did you get out of it? What was the reason behind it? Or did you go through the whole thing for naught? Okay, so they kind of want you to realize um, what changes did you make after you came out of things that were really kind of crappy? Um, how did you think differently? How did you kind of move forward um, in love? Um, why did you have to go through what you went through? Like, what did you get out of it? And I feel like they want you to kind of come to these conclusions um, instead of just like putting on a new coat of paint on something. Um, before you actually move on in love. After you do that, that's what's gonna happen because we have the magician card here in the upright. So here's where your visions of being in love or falling in love or being with a person is going to happen. This is where um, you're gonna manifest a new cycle. You're gonna bring love into your life and the universe is going to throw or, or whatever higher being you prescribe to, or even if it's just you, um, a whole bunch of tools and everything um, in order for things to happen. So it's almost like they'll hand over a toolbox to you, or you know, if you don't prescribe to any higher being, all of a sudden you know, you're gonna feel like you have all the ability to kind of create or find new love, okay? But that's only after you've kind of done all of this. And then the Four of Pentacles in um, reverse to me is you opening up, but in a different way, like more grounded. Um, it, it's not like, it, it's not like here, come on to my house, my house, my house, I'm going to bring you candy. But, <laughs> oh my God, that song. I'm going to have to, but it's not like this. It's not like you opening the door like seduction. I'm not getting seduction. This is you letting your guard down, but being more grounded. This is you um, letting go of things, not trying to put your fingers into things to manipulate or control a situation or um, to have something, to possess something. This is more like, hey, you know, whatever comes, comes. I've done the work. Let me just go with the flow. Um, let me not, you know, expect certain outcomes or expectations because I feel like that always screws people up. And you're just kind of like, hey, you know, whatever happens, happens. So um, not trying to like will something in your li life and not dying to fall in love again, but just just being like, you know, a little more relaxed, a little more grounded, a little more realistic without having your head in Cupid's clouds, so to speak. So that is what I have for you all. I knew that was crazy that all those cards came out and they read like that. Um, if it resonates, of course, consider a personal reading. Just send me an email or DM so we can set that up. Click on the link below for what your love interest is thinking or feeling. And in that spread, I'll have um, something you do not know about them in addition to if they're interested in or seeing someone else. In my playlist, 2021 Sun Moon Predictions, I'll start my 2022's Midsummer. What is your ideal career? Based on your Midheaven, what is your compatibility with your partner's sun sign? Ask me a question on Instant Go. Check me out on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Like, share, subscribe, and or donate. Otherwise, Leos, I will see you in the Vimeo reading. Adios from Veronica Garnett. Bye.